In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, gathered together as God's family, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Lord, our God, you sent your only Son to bring peace to our, to our world. Through the intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, hear our earnest prayer. Grant that our times may be tranquil, so that we may live in peace as one family, united in love for one another. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Do not let people disregard you because you are young, but be an example to all the believers in the way you speak and behave, and in your faith, lo your love, and your purity. Make use of the time until I arrive by reading to the people, preaching, and teaching. You have in you a spiritual gift, which was given to you when the prophets spoke and the body of the elders laid their hands on you. Do not let it lie unused. Think hard about all this and put it into practice and everyone will be able to see how you are advancing. Take great care about what you do and what you teach. Always do this, and in this way you will save both yourself and those who listen to you. This is the word of the Lord. Response. Great are the works of the Lord. His works are justice and truth. His precepts are all of them sure. Standing firm forever and ever, they are made in uprightness and truth. Great are the works of the Lord. He has sent deliverance to his people and established his covenant forever. Holy his name to be feared. Great are the works of the Lord. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and all who do so prove themselves wise. His praise shall last forever. Great are the works of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One of the Pharisees invited Jesus to a meal when he arrived at the Pharisee's house and took his place at table. A woman came in who had a bad name in the town. She had heard he was dining with the Pharisee and had brought with her an alabaster of jar of ointment. She waited behind him at his feet, weeping, and her tears fell on his feet, and she wiped them away with her hair. Then she covered his feet with kisses and anointed them with the ointment. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, if this man were a prophet, he would know who this woman is that is touching him and what a bad name she has. Then Jesus took him up and said, Simon, I have something to say to you. Speak, Master, was the reply. There was once a creditor who had two men in his debt. One owed him 500 denarii, the other 50. They were unable to pay, so he pardoned the, them both. Which of them would love him more? The one who was pardoned more, I suppose, answered Simon. Jesus said, you are right. Then he turned to the woman. Simon, he said to you, see this woman. I came into your house and you poured no water over my feet, but she has poured out her tears over my feet and wiped them away with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but she has been covering my feet with kisses over ever since I came in. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. For this reason, I tell you that her sins, her many sins must have been forgiven her or she would not have shown such great love. It is the man who is forgiven little who shows little love. Then he said to her, your sins are forgiven. Those who were with him at table began to say to themselves, who is this man that he even forgives sins? But he said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The Gospel of the Lord. We are here, people from different corners of the world, gathered here, seeing some of us are seeing ourselves for the first time. But all these testify to the lavishness of God with his gifts. And more beyond his gifts, he himself, who has given us himself as a gift, and particularly in this place. The gospel of today, talks about this woman who had a bad name in the town. And so you wonder, how could this woman who had a bad name in the town take the courage to come and be lavish with her gifts, her oil, with, to Jesus? But I believe that deep within her heart, she discovered how, God, how much God had done for her how much lavish God had been with, her, with his gifts to her. 
And so that moved her to also give herself as plus her resources to anoint Jesus, to shed her tears of repentance so that she could reflect a new image of Jesus, a new image of a new person born in Christ. Many of us here have come with different intentions. Some of us have come here just to say thank you to God. Some of us here have come with intentions of requests to ask for something from God. But all these are because of one reason. We, have, we know the goodness of the Lord to us. And that is why we have come here as witnesses of that goodness. Witnesses of the goodness that the Lord has done for each one of us. And witnesses of, the, of faith that we have that when we bring our intentions here to God, he will surely answer them. And some of us go out, kind of the last words of the gospel fulfilled for them and in them, which say, your faith has saved you, go in peace. The faith which has brought us here saves, it's a saving faith. We have come, some of the people have come back to give testimony for having experienced that salvation that comes through faith. Some of us have been moved by that faith to experience its healing, its power in a deeper way, so that they continue to go out to manifest, to, mini, to witness to other people how powerful our God is. And we bring all these intentions in our Eucharistic prayer a very central theme to the, to the center of Fatima, Eucharist. And this is the way in which we discover the lavishness of God, who has not only given of his gifts, but himself to us in the Eucharist. And so we come also that as we receive the gift of the Eucharist, we pray that this gift of the Eucharist, God himself, may transform our lives to be the witnesses of his presence in our world today that needs him so much. Let us pray for the gift of faith in this Mass. gathered together in the name of the Lord, present here as he promised, we pray with confidence to God our Father for the needs of all peoples. Respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Church of God, that by the sacrament of the Eucharist, which proclaimed the marvel, realized at the Last Supper of Christ, the church may experience a growth in the work of salvation and be a leaven of unity among all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people all over the world, that they achieve progress in freedom and mutual respect, and may find in God the source of all good, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick or abandoned, that the Son of God, the strength support of human frailty, heal and strengthen them. For those who are dying, that they be nourished by the Holy Vatikum, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died or who will die this year, this day, and whose faith is known only to God, that Jesus Christ reward them with the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us here present in this assembly, that in celebrating the Eucharist, fraternal charity be increased among us, and our hope be strengthened in the final coming of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer.
Lord God, who never ceases to nourish the church with the mysteries of the body and blood of your Son, may those who share this sacred meal of the Lord here on earth one day partake of your heavenly banquet through, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, as we lovingly venerate Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, as Queen of Peace, we offer you the sacrifice of reconciliation. Be pleased with our offering and bestow on your family the gifts of unity and peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Holy Father, and as we honor the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim with fitting praise the greatness of your name. She is your lowly handmaid, receiving your word from the angel Gabriel, and conceiving in her virginal womb the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. She is a faithful mother, standing fearless beside the cross, as her son sheds his blood for our salvation and reconciles all things to himself in peace. She is the disciple of Christ and the daughter of peace, joining in prayer with the apostles as she awaits your promised gift, the spirit of unity and peace, of love and joy. Now with the saints and all the angels, we praise you forever. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, 
and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, O Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity on this memorial of Our Lady, Queen of Peace, so that refreshed by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, through who lives and reigns forever and ever. Now those who have religious articles you may raise them up for blessing. <clears throat> may the God of all blessings, graces and protection bless these rosaries, these religious articles and bless those who are going to use them that as they use them, they may find grace to live according to God's holy will and bring fruits of faith that last forever. May the Almighty God bless them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. <laughs>